So, I was in a debate this Saturday with uh, Godless Cranium, Shannon Q, and uh, genetically modified skeptic, Drew, as he's known. Yeah, moving up in the world, really high-class atheists. <laughs> yeah, these are, these are the movers and the shakers in the atheist community. Three years from now, these are going to be some of the most influential people in the, in the atheist community, is how I see it. Um, but the debate went really well. You know, I had a good time with them. But Drew mentioned a couple of times, somebody said to him, you're being too nice. And then Shannon mentioned it a few times, too. People get on her for being too nice. That, and they mentioned it enough times, and they were saying it playfully, but they mentioned it enough times, and they seemed somewhat self-conscious of it, about it, that I got the sense that this is something that actually gets said to them a lot, that there is some form of controversy over their approach to interacting with theists. This is mind-boggling to me. Mind-boggling. Outside of the fact that it's a lot more pleasant, okay, um... You know, I can't speak for everybody, but I go on Twitter and I'm making YouTube videos for fun. Yeah, it's a weird thing to do for fun. I'll give you that. Yeah, okay, it's weird. But, but I am doing it mostly too because I find it enjoyable. So if somebody is not pleasant to me and they're, they're just trying to be a dick to me, guess what? I, I won't interact with them at all. I don't care what they have to say. But that's the key. I don't care what they have to say. And I'll size you up immediately. If, if, if I was talking to Drew, and for lack of a better word, I'll call them dickhead atheists. And it's somebody whose only agenda is to antagonize or harass. And I'll size you up immediately as somebody who's trying to do this. It's not really a big guessing game. There's, there's, there's not a lot of like room to maneuver between Shannon approach and someone who's just trying to be a dick to me. It's really obvious. I could tell you in two tweets. And then I will, I will write you off. I won't listen to a single thing you have to say. So if your agenda is to influence me, guess what? It won't. You won't. <laughs> you won't. Period. I'll tell you there was one guy, for example. Um, you know, I used to get a lot of people like this when I first got on Twitter. They don't really bother me that much anymore. But I used to get a lot of the dickhead atheists used to come on, come on my feed and, you know, say stuff to me to try and provoke me or harass me. Uh, one guy said to me, you know, Craig is one of the most ignorant young earth creationist out there. Okay, so first of all, it's dishonest and it's not correct. He didn't ask me if I was a young earth creationist. I'm not. He just described it to me. But second of all, that was one of two tweets that he, he tweeted to me. And I wrote him off immediately. Just to, just to underscore the ineffectiveness of that approach. I don't even know that guy's name. I'm just telling you the story because I remember the tweet. I didn't read a single other tweet he has ever written. And I don't, if he has videos, I have no idea because I never watched them. So that guy's influence on me has been exactly zero. I don't even know his name. I brought him up just to underscore the point. Shannon, for example, I've watched every video she's ever made. She's only made four. It wasn't that hard, but they're pretty good. They're very interesting. So if your goal is actually to influence another human being, if your agenda is actually to present your worldview in the best possible light and maybe try to change somebody's hearts and minds, their approach is the only possible approach that is going to work. It's the only possible approach that is going to work. And I can, I can hear the, the counter argument already. Yeah, but some theists are just such dicks. Okay, so what is your goal? To be the dick yourself? How does that prove anything? Think of the illogicalness. Think of, think of the irrationality of that position. I need to ridicule the theist because their position is so irrational and they can be such dicks. So I need to make sure that I become a dick too. Is that really, really, really how you want to present your case and present your argument? Look, I'm not just talking that their way is more pleasant and it's more fun and enjoyable. I'm saying it's a hundred times more effective. I've watched their videos. You know, the most aggressive out of those three is probably Godless Cranium, but even he, he makes fun of people and he'll say, you know, somewhat like, you know, in your face things, but it's totally within the context of a, of a discussion. It's fair play as far as I'm concerned. He's not just trying to be a dick to people, he's making points and making arguments. And yes, yeah, sometimes he'll use a little ridicule or sometimes he'll say like, something to, you know, just to be funny or just to mock somebody. I'm not objecting to that. 
I, what I'm talking about is, is the people who think they're accomplishing something for their cause because they are just being so in your face and aggressive. And they're out there. There's a lot of them in the atheist community. Not only are they completely ineffective, but they make, they make the whole community look bad. The whole community look bad. Yeah, there are Christians who do it too. And if I were a more influential Christian, if I had more of a following and I were a bigger voice, I'd police them. I'd tell them to shut up. <laughs> I'd tell them to cut it out. Honestly, I would. I would. I've done it. I've done it a couple of times where I thought it could make a difference. But you know, I'm just, I'm just a small time little guy with a microphone. Um, but just so you know, they're a hundred percent correct. Their approach is the only approach that is. It's first of all, it's the only approach organic to them because they happen to be pretty cool people. I can't really see them. I, I drew in particular, I can't really see him, you know, how that would work as him as an aggressive human being. Nobody's going to buy it. It'd be like, what are you, it just wouldn't make any sense. It's not, it's not natural to him. But his approach is a hundred times more effective. I've actually watched his videos. I wouldn't bother to watch his videos if I thought he was just out to antagonize. Even if I only thought that was like, even if that was only 30 to 40 percent of his agenda, I still wouldn't bother to watch his videos. The guy who tweeted the nasty tweet to me, I never read a single thing he ever said to me past that tweet, ever. I don't even know his name. I don't, if he has videos, I didn't see a single solitary one that tells you everything you need to know about the effectiveness of being aggressive for no particularly good reason. It's completely and utterly pointless. It doesn't work. It's not just that it's not right or fun or, or cool. It does not work. It is completely ineffective way of communicating your ideas. That guy has zero influence on me whatsoever. Whereas Shannon has a decent amount. I watch, like I said, I watch your videos. I watch your in, in debates. And Drew's, Drew, you know, same thing. I'm starting to watch his videos. Same thing with GC. So if you want to influence people, their approach is the only way. I mean, maybe it's not the only way, but it's the most effective way. I promise you that. I promise you that. People tune you out. People know what you're about immediately, and they size you up. And then there's other people who are watching these things who don't show themselves, and they watch your interactions. And, you know, they'll see how you act. And they'll respond accordingly. If they, they think, well, okay... I don't necessarily agree with him, but he was civil and cool and he made respectable points. You know, they're going to pay attention to you past that, time, past that moment. If they think you're just being a triggered out jerk and you're just mouthing off for no particularly good reason or being antagonistic, they're not going to follow you. They're not going to care about what they have to say. And if they do, they aren't worth it because they're jerks too. They aren't worth it. If they do start responding to your approach and they like that approach... You're building up the wrong kind of army. You're building up the wrong kind of following. And it won't go well for you. So, my advice to you, Mr. Atheist. And it's advice that you should well take, because if you look at my comment sections, a lot, there's a lot of you, there's a lot more dickhead atheists than there are Drew cool guy atheists who actually make intelligent, coherent points and are trying to win arguments based on the validity of the points they're making based on the soundness of the reasoning. My advice to you, Mr. Atheist, adopt their approach. It is the way to do it. It's not just more pleasant. It's ju not just more enjoyable and entertaining. It is also 150 times more effective. I will say it one more time. I have watched their videos. I don't watch all that many atheist videos tells you everything you need to know right there. So the cases that they're presenting and the arguments they're making, I have listened to. I have heard what they have to say. A lot of that has to do with their approach to the whole endeavor. A lot of it. I'd say 85% of it. So there you go. That's my two cents. Take it for what it's worth. Amen.